Uh, Brian, good afternoon. Thanks so much for uh, taking time out of your busy schedule to have a little chat. Thank you, Michael. Good afternoon to you, too. When you were asked to get involved with this process, uh, why did you sign up? This is a great opportunity to have a, a, an opportunity to influence how the vision for the refuge system is going to be crafted. And it's important that we all engage in that. The opportunity to co-lead, co-chair this, this group, that is the Conservation Delivery Group, uh, is a great opportunity to learn from our practitioners in the field at all levels in the agency about what we need to be doing to conserve our resources and then turn the corner into conservation for the 21st century. Now, in our work in the Fish and Wildlife Service, we work with partners a lot. And in the vision process, partners are just as critical. What do you think their role is in the future of the refuge system and in this process going on right now? Conservation 21st century is going to be all about partnerships and involving our partners and stakeholders from all kinds of walks of life. We have to reach out even beyond our typical partners. That is the power of this effort, that we are reaching out so broad that we're really going to have all the perspectives of all the different sectors of this country to really make this vision a true meaningful vision and really turn the corner to that 21st century of conservation that is going to be based upon a lot of partnerships. And another thing that's a big part of that vision is the need to work at the landscape scale and the landscape level. The work that you all are doing in fisheries and habitat conservation, how are we moving towards a landscape scale um, way of doing conservation business? And let me share with you a little bit about how we in uh, fisheries and habitat conservation work through that. I mean, our, we have very core functions and, and we look at uh, first avoiding impacts and reducing those impacts. And uh, in order to do that, you have to do planning. To plan correctly, you have to work with partners. Uh, we also then look into how do we support other programs. We work very closely with Endangered Species Program, very closely with the Migratory Bird Program, very closely with the Refuge Program. And so we really have that component I as part of our core mission in the, in the Fisheries and Habitat Conservation Program. And then lastly but not least is our restoration efforts. As we restore habitats, we are looking at a landscape conservation approach. We have in our fisheries program the foremost uh, uh, experts on conservation genetics, co genetics for population level uh, uh, analysis. And so when you put all that together and harness it around the core of conservation around our refuges, then from there you spun up into the landscape conservation. And that's how we see the future of conservation. In the draft vision, there's a whole section that talks about uh, communicating and leveraging around the, the benefits that nature mm -hmm. provides, or you know, oftentimes ecosystem services, right. as we like to call it. Why is the work that we do so important to benefit people directly? Well, absolutely. I mean, we, we are here for the American people. We connect people to the outdoors. And there's fishing opportunities, there's hunting opportunities. Um, I'm a fisherman, and I love going to fish on refuges. There's over 270 refuges that offer opportunities for the American people. And not only that, it's just the ability to bring those local communities into the conservation effort is important. And as we look into the future, more and more the public is realizing that we need these spaces. We need the ability to conserve them, but they also want to recreate in them. We're making new opportunities for the American people to enjoy those resources that we have available for them. So, Brian, do you have a particular favorite fishing spot within the refuge system, <laughs> or maybe not necessarily uh, in the refuge system? But I fear you're going to ask me that, <laughs> uh, and so do not be partial. Uh, I have <laughs> fished in a number of refuges, uh, but I do have a soft spot for ding darling and snook fishing. Uh, it's a great place to go, and snook fishing is one of my favorite fish, kinds of fishing to do. Uh, but, um, you know, there's other activities on refuges that I enjoy personally, mm -hmm. like bird watching and, and, and outdoor photography, which I do a little bit of. And a place like Bosque del Apache is just magical, mm -hmm. and you just cannot just, just talk about fishing um, because refuges have so many different kinds of opportunities for people. And, and, and I like to uh, make sure that we don't miss the point that there's many things to enjoy in refuges. Well, Brian, thank you so much for your time uh, here in the studio. And before uh, we leave, I was wondering, you know, we're trying to get to know uh, some of our folks a, a little more personally. What drives you or do you do anything outside of work? Well, uh, I, I do a lot of things. Uh, I, as I mentioned earlier, I, I like to fish. And anytime I have an opportunity, I go out there and wet a line. Uh, I also do a lot of nature photography. And I like to go out and, and take pictures of birds and animals and plants and flowers and bugs. and. Um, I, I do some social media, so those of you that are on Facebook, I like to do Facebook and Very cool. keep in touch with people and share some of my pictures through Facebook. You know, I do like to, to read a lot too, and, and not just uh, technical stuff, thank God. I mean, there's a lot of good reading out there. And so I do a lot of a variety of things. The energy, I think, for me personally, comes from uh, my, my true commitment to our people. 
and, and giving everything I have every day to I help uh, support the right things that our people are doing and, and the right things for the environment and, and our mission. Um, and I enjoy my job. I mean, I come every morning jazzed up and ready to go. And on Fridays I go, it's been a long week, but by God, I'm ready to go and do my fishing and do my photography. And then I come back on Monday, ready to go again. And so that's the great thing about this agency, that it's a family and we all care for each other. And, and what a better place to work than the Fish and Wildlife Service. It's a great place. Brian, thanks so much. And uh, if you have your favorite fishing photos uh, that you want to share with the world, uh, go to americaswildlife.org, get involved in the vision, uh, post your photos to your personal profile in the social network, or follow us on Twitter or join the Facebook group. Again, it's all at americaswildlife.org.